Hey historians, welcome to Decoding the Test. We're going to take a look today at the Gilded Age, but please keep in mind, as always, this is not everything I would want you to know about this era. Instead, it's a look at what the test has focused on in the past to kind of help you laser in on what they have decided is really important about this era. And when you look at the Gilded Age, if you're going for that higher level score, I would want you to know all the details you see in front of you. However, if you want to focus in, we can really focus in on four areas the test comes back to over and over and over again. Immigration, American power, industry, and corruption. Today, let's look at American power. And it's really, really simple. Usually, the tests focus on not the battles of the Spanish-American War or the reason we're fighting. Instead, it focuses on the outcome. The Spanish-American War led to the United States gaining territory and land overseas and becoming something of an imperialist expansionist power. That is the takeaway for the test. So when you look at, say, questions like the one you see in front of you, which sentence provides information needed to complete both the cause and effect portions of this diagram? If you look at the information we're given, U.S. gains control of the Philippines, Cuban independence, U.S. controls Puerto Rico, U.S. controls Guam, Everything you see is the U.S. gaining control of some faraway land. This is the main focus of American power questions. The Spanish-American War is the cause. The effect, we become a world power. The answer is F. This is your typical Spanish-American War slash American power question on this test. Now, they're going to throw a couple different diagrams and charts at you, but... That is almost always the answer. America becomes powerful. That's almost always the answer. Let's look at another one. Different diagram. Same answer. Look at J. They helped establish the United States as an imperial power similar to European nations. America becomes powerful. The diagram is talking about USS Maine being sunk, Congress declaring war, then the Treaty of Paris being signed, never mentions the word Spanish-American War, but you know what? You should be able to recognize the details, but even above that, you should be able to recognize the answer. And that's why looking at these focuses helps. It know, helps to know that this is the answer they're looking for in test after test after test. America becomes an imperial power. Okay, let's look at another one. This one, I like this one because they get a little bit sneaky. This one is titled Puerto Rico, and it looks like it's going into Puerto Rico's history. The first item is blank, and it's like they grant U.S. citizenship in 1917, 1948. They get elected by governors. Uh, excuse me, they elect governors by popular vote, and then they become a commonwealth in 52. And you're sitting there going, I don't think I ever really studied Puerto Rico. Well, none of that matters. What it's looking for is that first blank, something happening before 1917. Look at the answer choices, and you get the G was ceded to the United States as a result of the Spanish-American War. Again, America becoming powerful and gaining overseas territories. Three different questions you've seen. The answers are very similar. America is gaining territories. Now, I do want to mention one possible kind of question you get. I've seen it rarely, but enough that I want to mention it. Alfred Thayer Mahan is the author of a book called The Influence of Sea Power Upon History. He influences Theodore Roosevelt, but he also influences basically this attitude that America needs to expand its military, especially its navy, and become an imperialist power. So it's following that same theme. If you look at this question, it gives you a quote, and then it says, Mahan's book influenced U.S. efforts to become a world power by doing what? The answer is F advocating overseas expansions. It's really kind of a gen, uh, kind of a generic answer. What they've done to confuse you is giving you kind of this passage that's a little vague and then a name they're hoping you don't remember. But it still follows the theme. America becomes an imperial power. So to sum up, if you get a question from the Gilded Age time period about the Spanish-American War, the answer is almost always the same. And the answer is America gains territories and becomes an imperialist power. If there's no questions, comments, or schemes of angst, I'll see you in our next video.
Thank <laughs> you.